Attics get very hot in the summertime, leading to discomfort and high air conditioning bills. In our program on attic retrofitting, we looked at the importance of sealing attic floor air leaks and adding insulation. On this program, we'll look at other options to consider to keep summer heat from getting down into your house. An attic fan, also known as a powered attic ventilator, or PAV, is a solution that usually doesn't work as well as claimed. The theory is that the attic fan sucks out the hot attic air and cooler outdoor air comes in to replace it. Homeowners assume they'll save money and improve summertime comfort. But new scientific research shows that PAVs often make the air conditioner run longer and decrease comfort. We find attic fans to be a problem in many cases. Um, they create a lot of um, negative suction inside the, the attic that tends to draw the cold air that you've paid to cool into the hot attic and then out. If the attic gets cooler when running a powered attic ventilator, it's probably because it sucked up the air conditioning from the house below. We routinely find that 10 to 20 percent of the PAV's replacement air originates in the condition space below instead of from outside. This may not sound like a high percentage, but because the powered attic ventilators are so powerful and many homes have two or three installed, the actual amount of unintentional air exchange in the living space is very high. So attic fans can actually hurt the performance of your air conditioning system unless the attic is well sealed and there's enough air to enter the attic to feed the exhausting requirements of a powered ventilating fan. So these fans don't always solve the answer if you have a hot attic. And more importantly, it is to get dirty, get inside the attic and be ready to go to these bypasses and holes. Powered attic ventilators also often lead to a dustier, more humid home. In some cases, they've even caused carbon monoxide poisoning by backdrafting the gas water heater. You have to be careful and look at whether that money would be better off spent on extra insulation in the attic floor or around the duct system or in sealing the attic. So it may not be that powered attic ventilators are the best choice. So if PAVs are usually not a good idea, what is? If the house doesn't have any ductwork up in the attic, we find the best solution is to seal the attic floor air leaks, add more blown insulation, and ensure good passive ventilation. However, if there is ductwork or HVAC equipment up in the attic, a radiant barrier also becomes a very effective and worthwhile investment. A radiant barrier is an aluminum foil that's stapled under the roof rafters. Researchers have discovered that most of the summertime heat that gets into an attic is from infrared radiation. The sun heats the shingles and then the heat beams down from the underside of the hot roof, as you can see in this infrared scan. An aluminum foil radiant barrier blocks most of that heat energy. Now, research done by the electric utilities in the South has found typical cooling load reductions of 20 to 25 percent and utility savings of 10 to 15 percent. In some attics with complicated roof trusses, installing the foil is simply not practical. An alternative is a sprayed-on, low emissivity paint. While it isn't quite as effective as the foil, it's still very worthwhile. Even if you don't cover the entire attic, it always makes sense to create a protective radiant barrier tent right over any HVAC equipment. HVAC equipment and ductwork up in attics need protection from the intense heat and infrared radiation. If you're having your attic ductwork renovated or replaced, you should ask your contractor to quote for thicker duct insulation. The old standard was one inch, but many building codes now require two inches. Thicker duct insulation is especially important if you're getting a new two-speed air conditioner. There are many options for reducing attic energy waste and improving comfort. Every home is different. Your Comfort Institute member contractor has the instruments and training to recommend the best strategy for conditioning and ventilating your home safely and efficiently.